Hi, in this video we're going to talk about adaptive response format. Adaptive response formats are very similar to another feature we covered earlier called custom lightning types. Custom lightning types lets you configure the appearance of an agent's response in lightning experience. Now, the difference with custom lightning types and adaptive response format is that adaptive response formats work with service agents and they cover any type of channels except experience cloud sites. So to try it out, what we need to do is to go to embedded service deployments. And this allows us to test this within Lightning Experience. There's nothing to do to enable the feature. It's already enabled by default. And so we're gonna be able to try it out out of the box. So I'm going here in the deployment of, uh, of my service agent. I'm gonna go in the test messaging tile and we're gonna be able to access a service agent and to preview the adaptive response formats. So I'm gonna start a conversation with my service agent and I'm gonna ask it to show me the experience types available at Coral Cloud or fictitious Seaside Resort. And so I'm asking it for a specific type of activity and this is gonna use an agent action to retrieve those records and it's gonna use an adaptive response. Here you can see a rich choice adaptive response format. This is a carousel which contains an image, a title, a description, and a link. And you can see there are multiple records available here. So let me pick up the first one and by clicking on the link here, uh, I'm gonna automatically write down my answer here. And this is gonna call a second agent action which will give me the details of this specific activity. And you can see here, these are the details and it's followed by a, another adaptive response format. This one is a rich link, which contains an image, a title and a link. So this is in a nutshell how uh, adaptive response formats work. Uh, it lets the agent figure out what's the best way to represent a response. Now, depending on the channel type, it could be WhatsApp, it could be Facebook, it could be other types of channels. The agent is gonna be picking different formats. Now, how does this work on the back end? So let's see how this is implemented. I'm gonna move now to Visual Studio Code and we're gonna take a look at our list experiences from type action. That's the first action we call to display the list of, of experiences in a rich choice component. So this is your typical invocable action. It has some input parameters. It's building a SQL query to retrieve the experiences from a given type. And what's more interesting is that the response is wrapped into a type and it's called experience items. And this type here holds the route amount of information, the exact format that we expect to use adaptive response format. It has a name, a, an image URL, an optional MIME type to speed up the loading of the image and a description. When the agent gets a response with this format, it's able to use the adaptive response format. In this case, it's gonna be a rich choice format. So that's it, it's fairly easy to use. You can configure adaptive response format using Apex. You can also do this with Flow, as long as you provide the right uh, format for your answers. I hope you've liked this video and you learned something today. Make sure to let us know if you found this useful by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching, bye.